हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल आज यू नो वी हैव सक्सेसफुली कंप्लीटेड द लास्ट विंटर कल्चर विदाउट एनी मेजर चैलेंजेस एंड रिसेंटली वी हैव स्टार्टेड आवर समर कल्चर दिस टाइम वी हैव बॉट अराउंड वन लाख पीसेस ऑफ एनामी श्रीम शेड्स लोकली बाय पेइंग जीरो पॉइंट थर्टी फाइव पेस पर सीड दिस कल्चर विल बी एन इंटरेस्टिंग वन विथ लॉर्ड्स ऑफ लर्निंग सो कीप वॉचिंग माई वीडियोज एंड प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल टू गेट नोटिफिकेशन फॉर माई upcoming videos before proceeding further let me share some information about my newly launched products recently we have launched three specialized product for shrimp farming in biflock system and same product can be used in the traditional farming in the open earthen ponds we have been developing this product for a long time and the same product i am using in my biflock system as well these products are well tested in my production environment and now it's ready for the farmers here are the list of products the first one is the starter pack for shrimp farming second one operational pack for shrimp farming third one is no ammonia let me brief you about these uh, three products its benefit and its applications the first one starter pack for shrimp farming so this uh, pack this starter pack is used at the time of water preparation it basically creates a good and pro environment for the shrimps to grow well so we use this product at the time of water preparation and the application is the of this product is one time it helps to create a pro environment before stocking the shrimps the second one is the operational pack for uh, shrimp farming so it helps to create uh, or fulfills the ongoing nutritional demand for the shrimps and maintains the required water parameters the shrimp farming is a very critical and every time the nutritional demand is very high to fulfill all the nutritional demand we use this operational pack which basically helps to fulfill all the ongoing nutritional uh, requirements and the water okay for the shrimps the third one no ammonia it contains all good and helpful bacteria along with uh, some good enzymes which basically helps to neutralize all toxic ammonia and hydrogen gas sul formation in the water so all the toxic gas which are uh, getting generated by fish excretas uh, or uh, Oh, waste of feed. Those gas, those gases, toxic gas will be uh, eradicated or neutralized by application of this no ammonia. So these are the uh, three products uh, which we launched recently, and let me uh, share some benefits of uh, of these products. So benefits of using starter and operational uh, pack for the shrimp farming are. it fulfills all the nutritional demand for the shrimps the feed conversion ratio is very low normally in the traditional farming the fcr will be like 1.5 to 2 but in case of uh, our uh, application of our product you will get low feed conversion that means fcr will be below 1 sometime it's 0.7 to 0.9 maintains good diesel oxygen in the level in the water even you stop the aeration for some time still the do level of your water will not drop it will maintain at certain level so it has that potential neutralize all toxic ammonia and hydrogen sulfide uh, sulfide gas formation in the water it basically eradicate or suppress all the toxic gas formation in the water break down all the sludges that is and that are uh, getting generated or that is getting accumulated on the bottom of the pond it basically helps to break down all the sludges which will not allow the toxic gas formation maintains water parameters uh, throughout the culture it it will stable your water parameter it will not allow to fluctuate so that there will be no trace among the shrimps the shrimps will be very healthy it basically boost the immune system uh, of all the animals so that they will be healthy they will grow they will go faster and there will be no disease at all and the la the last one uh, early harvest so you can do the early harvest because uh, normal the same farming period is like uh, 90 to 100 days time even before that also around 70 days to 80 days you can uh, it is uh, if you do it properly uh, so you can do the harvest around 70 to 80 days even okay so these are the benefits of uh, 
of my products okay this operational pack and the starter pack now let me tell you the application of starter and operational pack for shrimp farming the application of these products are very simple and easy to use let me show you how to use this products operational starter pack and operational pack so let's say this is your biflock tank let's consider this is your 10000 liter tank uh, the step one you need to fill the water and you need to sanitize your water sanitization uh, sanitization means so whatever uh, source of water you are having so it may contain some sort of virus pathogens parasites which may hamper the culture so first you need to sanitize your water which means you need to kill all sort of pathogens virus those are present in the water once the water is uh, well sanitized the second step is add the starter pack okay so you need to add the starter pack here so just add the required amount of starter pack in your culture tank and keep it aerated and you just need to uh, turn on your aeration system so that all the nutrition that are added into this uh, culture tank it will be well mixed in the water and leave it for 7 to 10 days okay so that all the nutrition will be made available in the water third step after 7 to 10 days of water preparation the environment will be uh, fully ready for stocking the shrimps and the after 10 days you need to stock the shrimps okay you need to measure all the water parameters then stock the shrimps after stocking the shrimps every 15 days every 15 days you need to add the operational pack so you need to add the required amount of operational pack into the culture tank so that whatever the demand nutritional demand in the uh, for the shrimps will be automatically get filled and there will be no nutritional deficiencies for the shrimps okay i made the process very simple and easy to use so in case uh, if you have any uh, queries or any questions related to uh, this uh, product you can whatsapp me i have uh, given the whatsapp number on the description on the screen as well you can whatsapp me or you can even call me so that i'll guide you to well so it basically depends the application of this product is varies uh, depending upon your water parameters okay well, if you uh, share uh, me the your water parameters uh, so that i can guide you easily so uh, how much quantity is required okay so all the detailed information i am going to share um, when you uh, whatsapp me or call me directly because it varies uh, uh, region to region place to place it uh, all the water parameters are varies basically okay so there is no constant or fixed value for the uh, there is no standard uh, value or application of this product it basically varies uh, depending upon your water parameters guys just whatsapp me uh, if you have any queries or uh, any question related to all this product i'll guide you and i'll um, before buying i'll guide you how to use this products okay so this was all about uh, my uh, three products now let's talk about uh, my summer culture on uh, 5th of april i stocked uh, uh, savannah shrimps in my open biflock pond and as well as 10000 liter uh, small biflock tanks i bought around 1 lakh pieces of savannah uh, shrimp seeds locally and i paid around 30000 uh, rupees for it okay so the hatchery this time i bought it locally the hatchery uh, was located near to my place around 30 km away from my friends and i bought it uh, around 12 pl seats there so last time i bought it uh, from andhra pradesh but this time uh, there was a new hatchery uh, in my place which i was not aware of so luckily i got there and i got the seats okay so this time getting the seats was very easy so I got uh, 12 PL seeds this time and I stocked it on uh, 5th of April. Today is the 10th day of the culture and uh, let me show you the growth of these streams uh, in the open biplog pond as well as in my tanks. As per uh, my experience the growth is uh, within this uh, 10 days uh, period the growth is uh, good and uh, shrimps are looking very healthy so i don't see much difference so it's as usual and shrimps are healthy 
so going forward let's see how it goes so uh, in this summer i'm going to do several like uh, experiments uh, which will be like uh, how to minimize the feed uh, commercial feed usage because uh, nowadays the cost of commercial feed is a bit high earlier the i th i believe the last time i bought the commercial feed per kg around uh, 78 rupees now it's close to 90 rupees per kg so there is a huge variation okay so day by day the feed cost also going high so this time i'm trying to cut down the commercial uh, feed uses so that is one goal and second is the low electric congestion by avoiding the aeration pumps uh, running for a long time so if you are if you are following me uh, for some time you must have been seen so in my winter culture i had uh, minimized my uh, pump uh, the aeration pump uses okay the by maintaining the do level around uh, more than 10 uh, ppm so uh, this time also i'm trying the same i'm trying to minimize or cut down the electric consumption by not running uh, by avoiding uh, the aeration pump running okay and uh, uh, this time also i will try the integration of fish and stream farming uh, to check uh, for confirm uh, like i'll add this time also i'm going to add some calf type of fishes into um, the same uh, my uh, large uh, open by flock pond and i'll see the performance last time uh, the result was quite good within uh, 70 days i got around eight uh, more than 800 uh, gram of uh, uh, this calf type of fish they can really grow well so this is the one experiment and apart from that there will be several other experiments i'm going to do it in this culture hope it will be successful one I am very much excited about uh, this summer culture with lots of new learnings will be there. Let's see how it goes. Guys, if you have any queries, uh, please post it in the comment section. I will try to respond to your queries as soon as uh, possible. Thank you so much uh, for watching my content and see you soon with lots of valuable information about my stream culture in the Biflux system. Thank you so much.